Hello again. Okay, what we have here. A um, couple of videos ago I showed a little pulse motor running where I had the diode between the two batteries and not on the collector like we normally do. And no matter how long I ran it, the run battery didn't seem to go down for the amount of amps our meter was saying it was pulling. It said something like 700 milliamps and even after an hour the battery only went down about 0.2 of a volt. So um, this has been running for about three hours now. Um, it is only pulling 23 milliamps but the voltage has not moved. It's been 13.07 steady for the last three hours. Our charge battery has gone up point, about point 0.6 of a volt. Um, so I wanted to make a, sim a pretty quick solid state unit so I could get a steady reading on the scope without magnets flying past and all sorts. So what I've done is I've used two solenoids facing each other. I've just pulled the metal cores out of them because they are all plastic um, without any core in it which is why that is actually up flat out. I can get this thing to run on one milliamp um, and the frequency is that high my meter or my scope will not read it. But what I wanted to find out now this is for all of you that are pretty good with your scopes as you know I'm still learning but I wanted to find out if the voltage was actually not only coming out of the run battery but going back into it because that seemed like it should actually do that without having the diode on the collector so what we've done here by putting the diode in between the two batteries we stop any of the positive current going into the negative side of the battery uh, which seems to work a treat so what I've done here I've got a 6 ohm 5 watt resistor um, in between the positive of the run battery and of course the input power to the coil and I have my scope across that resistor I've got the um, probe on the battery side and I have of course the ground on the other side so what I've gone done here um, we're on 0.2 milliseconds um, on our time divisions and 0.1 volt on our volt divisions our line is dead on zero now if I switch it to AC that is what I get. And the reason I'm running on AC is because alternating current is of course one direction and then back in the other. And I have a perfect sawtooth wave here. So um, I may be wrong and I probably am but this would indicate to me the power or the pulse going into the machine and then it dropping off and then it looks like the current is flowing back into the battery um, and then the cycle starts again so if someone can give us a heads up on that um, that would be much appreciated but like I said I have a 6 ohm resistor between the positive of the run battery and where we would normally hook it up on the coil and I have the probe across that resistor and that is what I'm getting across the resistor now to me if it was DC it would start at our zero volt line here it would fire and then come back to zero volts fire come back to zero volts but this is firing going to zero and then to me this looks like the current's been reversed back to the battery so um, 
yeah anyone that's uh, really good at reading scopes and understanding how I've set this up like I said it's just a resistor in line with the positive power into the unit and that is what I'm getting uh, just a quick uh, note people are asking where to get sprag clutches um, from my little popper motor I made now if you want a heavy duty one for a big unit inside a starter motor you will find a very nice one as you can see it goes one way but not the other so if you wanted to make a big unit find yourself an old starter that will be in there ready for you to use and as you would know a starter motor puts out a whole lot of torque so that will handle it no problem at all okay well that's enough for me yes I built another little something today um, as you can see very simple it is the basic SSG circuit without the diode on the collector like we would normally put it we leave that off um, the rest is the same and we simply put a diode in between the run and the charge battery in that direction okay cheers from the tin man